hello there welcome back let's jump in right to some advanced selectors in the last screencast we saw uh, information about how to combine selectors together in this screencast you're going to see briefly about uh, two selectors which were, which were not part of the previous uh, screencast the first one is called a universal selector a universal selector is a selector which can be used to apply a set of styles to every element on your page irrespective of whether it's ID whether it's class whether it's uh, any element any element on your page you can apply the select uh, the set of styles to a universal selector usually in CSS let me type command let's say a universal selector in CSS is uh, represented by using a star in in place of your selector star means it's a universal selector it can be applied to everyone so for example over here let's say I have three hyperlinks so if I want to just like say change the font size of all uh, the hyperlinks or every element not just hyperlinks every element would be to 20 pixels to make it really big if you go and see the rendering you will see that all of them has have changed their sizes with normal size now have become bigger okay so that's that's the that's the advantage of using a star it can be applied to all elements so it doesn't matter if it's a if suppose for example I add a paragraph tag over here which says this is a sample paragraph I'll just go to my rendering and see that it's also changed and this size is also 20 pixels so as as long as I keep on changing my size and my selector it is applied to all of them okay that's insanely big and you can see that it can be applied to all elements so this is called a universal selector now the other part that we are going to do the other selector that we are going to see now is called an attribute selector now we know from our HTML screencasts that every tag or every element on your HTML page can have attributes okay all paid tags or void tags they all have attributes for example you can see over here that I have an anchor tag used for hyperlinking and as we remember that we can we can specify uh, the the location of your hyperlink which is href using the href tag and also each tag can also have a unique ID over here we can ID as Facebook ID as Twitter and ID as Google Plus so these are the, these are the attributes of the selector A so for example let's say uh, let's look at the rendering and say that's Facebook what I want to do is to make it color light blue or let's keep it this blue because it's blue again I want to change Twitter to light blue and I want to change Google Plus to red now as you can see you can do it easily without actually me teaching you anything about attribute selectors if I ask you to do that you'll just put hash Facebook and then put color blue hash Twitter color light blue and hash Google Plus and color now suppose instead of doing that if I ask you to do it using attribute selectors now how to do that okay let's see how we can do that and suppose I want to apply an attribute selector the the main syntax of an attribute selector is first you put the the, the element name which is a over here in case it can be a class it can be an ID so over here we want to apply it to a the, the element and only to do that element where the attribute has this value so for example if I want to apply it to ID equal to Facebook I want to apply it to the anchor tag only when this value of this ad property or this attribute is Facebook so I want to just say the color will be blue okay similarly I want to go ahead and say whenever the ID is let's say Twitter and I want to change the color to light blue okay similarly again I want to do this which when the ID is 
Google Plus and I want to change this to color Let's say red right okay now when I go back and see my rendering you will see this Facebook is this Twitter is blue and Google Plus is red so this is attribute selectors the main syntax of an attribute selector is you specify the name the, the name of the element the the element over here it can be an ID it can be a class it can be whatever you like over here and then the specific specific attribute and its value over there so it, it, it depends upon the value of the attribute and supply to only that attribute so this is called attribute selector okay it's not a good way to do it using IDs because IDs are unique so actually you can do it without the ID but there are some cases when you don't want to assign an ID to something and use a different attribute such as name or such as class or eh, not even class let's say name or let's see a practical example okay as before because this is a very short video let's see a practical example you remember that the in, in a hyperlink we have we have an attribute called target which specifies uh, which specifies actually where I want to open the new page to so it can be blank that means to a new page or it can be self that means within the same page so if I use self I'm going to open it within the same page so for example let's say self over here and over here I want to say target blank and then whenever it's there as target let's say not tab index sorry say target and I want to say let's say again self so I have two self and one blank so I want to open Google Plus and Facebook in the same page and Twitter in a different page so suppose I want to say that whenever I want to open whenever I want to say make sure that the target is in self the value of the target is self I want to make an underline to it okay, text or I want to remove the underline text decoration none okay when I use this it removes the underline usually you see hyperlinks have underlines so if I put this it will remove the underline so whenever I want to open it in the same page I want to remove the underline so the, my question was style these hyperlinks such that based on the attribute called target so if the target is self I want to remove the underline so if the target is blank the line is okay so now if you see it Facebook and Google Plus should not have an underline see this because I changed it based upon the value of their attribute okay so this is one of the practical examples of using that whenever I cannot use the ID whenever I cannot use the IDs so I can use the value of other attributes to style my selectors so this is called an attribute selector an attribute selector the syntax is usually something like this it says the first is the name of the element and then within the square brackets within square brackets you have to mention in the beginning the name of your attribute that you want to apply the style to based on that value and say equal to and then you up you put your the value of the attribute you want to apply the style to okay the name of the attribute and the value of the attribute so this is how we use attribute selectors so we saw how to use attribute selectors and we also saw how to use the universal selectors I'm just going to put a comment over here which says that all these are attribute selectors okay okay then